Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on Python program for performing arithmetic operations. Arithmetic operations are used for performing addition operation, subtraction operation, multiplication operation, division operation and modulus operation on the given two numbers. Okay. First, from the output, first we are given two numbers. Okay. Enter the. Enter the. First number. I am giving 15. Next. Enter the second number. Five. Okay. Next. Addition of these two numbers. So, uh, result 1 is equal to how much? Next one, subtraction of these numbers result 2 equal to how much? Next one, multiplication of multiplication of these two numbers, these two numbers result three is equal to okay next one here I am writing division of these two numbers result four is equal to and the last one modular division of these two numbers result five So these are the outputs. Enter the first number that is 15. Enter the second number that is 5. Addition of these two numbers that is result 1 is equal to. Subtraction of these two numbers result 2 is equal to. Multiplication of these two numbers is equal result 3 is equal to. Division of these two numbers result 4 is equal to. Modular division of these two numbers that is result 5 is equal to. So this is the output. Okay. Whenever I am tracing the program, then I am writing the result. Okay. Then according to the output, we can go to the program. First, enter the first number. How we are giving input? Is P is equal to Int of input of enter the first number. Enter the first number.
next q is equal to int of input of enter the second number result 1 is equal to p plus q okay next print addition of addition of p and q is Result one. Okay. Next result two is equal to P minus Q. Print subtraction of P and Q is so this is result 2 next result 3 is equal to P and Q that is multiplication print multiplication of P and Q is result 3. Next one division. Result 4 is equal to P double slash Q. Okay, here P double slash Q is nothing but division operator that results only in theater result. Whereas P slash Q gives only floating point result. Okay. Print. Division of P and Q is result 4 next result 5 is equal to p modulus operator q print modular division of P and Q is result 5. Okay, so this is the program. Here we are performing addition operation. We have to print the result. This subtraction operation, we have to print the result. Multiplication operation, we have to print that result. Division operation, we have to print that result. Modular division operation, we have to print that result. Okay, so now we go for tracing of that program. First line we are going to enter the first number. Enter the first number. So what is the first number we are giving from the keyboard by the user? That is 15. This 15 can be taken by the input function. This input function can read the input from the keyboard that are entered by the user or a programmer 
and it returns string of 15. This string of 15 can be taken by the typecasting int function. Then this typecasting int function can return the integer value 15. This integer value can be assigned to the variable that is p. Now p is equal to 15. Okay. Next go for second line. Enter the second number. Enter the second number that is 5. This 5 can be given by the user or a programmer. This 5 can be taken by the input function. This input function can read the input that are entered by the user from the keyboard. It returns the string of 5. This string of 5 can be taken by the typecasting function in and it returns the integer value 5. This integer value can be assigned to the variable that is q. Now q is equal to 5. These are the two numbers that are entered by the user or a programmer from the keyboard. Now p is equal to 15, q is equal to 5. Then go for next step. Result 1. Result 1 is equal to p plus q. What is p value? 15. 15 plus 5 that is equal to 20. Okay. After addition of adding 15 plus 5, then we get the result 20. 20 is stored at the result 1. Now printing, print the statement, addition of P and Q is, what is the result? Result 1 stored the value 20. So 20 is stored. So now result 1 can store 20. Okay. Next step. Result 2 is equal to result 2 is equal to P minus Q. What is P value? 15 minus what is Q value? 5. 15 minus 5 that is 10. This 10 is stored at result 2 variable. Then this statement is printed. Subtraction of subtraction of P and Q is 10. Okay. So 15 minus 5 that is 10. Then the result is 10. Okay. Next we we'll go for result 3. Result 3 is equal to P into Q. So what is P value? That is 15 into 5. That is equal to 75. Okay. So result 3 stored the value that is 75. So then multiplication of P and Q is 75 is printed. Here result 3 that is 75 is printed. Next one. Result 4 is equal to P double slash Q. That means 15 double slash 5 that is equal to 3. So here I am writing the difference also. P slash Q is equal to 15 slash 5 is equal to 3.0. Here we are using only, the, the, uh, only one slash. We are getting the result 3.0. Here P double slash Q we are getting 3. Here we are taken two integer values, but we are getting the floating point result by using only one slash. 
So we instead of that one, we are using double slash, then we are getting the result, integer result. Okay. So then we have to print that one division of P and Q is 3. So result 4 store the value 3. Next one result 5. Result 5 is equal to P modulus operator Q. So that is 15 modulus operator 5 that is equal to 0. How we are getting 0? 15 can be divided with the 5. 5 3 is 15. So remainder value is 0. This value becomes the remainder value. So that modular division of modular division of P and Q is 0. So now this value is 0. Okay. So this is the program for performing arithmetic operation. So enter the first number 5, enter the second number 5, addition of these two numbers that is 20, subtraction of these two numbers 10, multiplication of these two numbers 75, division of these two numbers is 3 and the modular division of these two numbers is equal to 0. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel name. So, Divela Srinivasarao. Divela Srinivasarao. Thank you.